Let's have a look at the controversy surrounding the belief that the Polynesians originated from the Lapita people. What is Lapita and where does it come from? It seems from the very beginning Lapita pottery has been misunderstood. The name Lapita came from an incident when an archaeologist in New Caledonia who had just found a little piece of pottery, misunderstood a local bystander who exclaimed in wonderment at the size of the pit, Lapita, that the archaeologist had just dug. Lapita, he said. And the archaeologist thought the man was remarking on the piece of pottery, not the pit. Some anthropologists, archaeologists and geneticists, but not all, have looked no further than the Lapita answer. So what is Lapita and where does it come from? To the west of the Polynesian Triangle are the islands of Melanesia and Micronesia. The people of these western Pacific islands are unrelated to the eastern Polynesians both genetically and culturally. Some scientific papers insist the Polynesian society began three and a half thousand years ago in the heart of Melanesia, which is where they made this Lapita pottery. Unfortunately, as the scientific evidence accumulates, little, if anything, supports this theory. Firstly, Polynesians never made pottery. They preferred to make stone or wooden bowls and use bottle gourds. The Lapita people would bury their dead in large urns, a practice common to the Mayan culture in Central America, as well as in India, but completely foreign to the Polynesian culture. The origin of the Lapita people, yet to be determined definitively, is a mystery within itself. Skeletal studies by Nicola van Dijk have shown that the Polynesians display more differences than similarities to the Lapita people. The Lapita skeletons show very long skulls, broad jaw bones, small teeth and slender long limb bones, unlike the more robust Polynesians. <laughs> Furthermore, on examination of the toolkits between ancient Polynesia and the Lapita people, we find some great differences. For example, these Polynesian tool types have never been found in any Lapita site. Similarly, the pottery and shellware of the Lapita people has never been unearthed in any early Eastern Polynesian site. And why did the Polynesians use single canoes and catamarans instead of outrigger canoes like the Melanesians and Lapita people? Why did they change their sailing technology mid-ocean? It's clear that there has been a separate evolution of these two cultures. And to top it off, other DNA studies have shown conclusively that the Polynesians did not interbreed with the Melanesians during this lengthy period of supposed cohabitation. Why not? The DNA appears to be quite different, as mentioned here by Lisa Matisu smith We were able to look to see whether um, the individuals possessed a, a particular mutation that we see at very high frequency in Polynesia. It's a, a nine base pair mutation, ba mutation of nine bases of DNA. And we found that the Tama material, uh, the first samples that we analyzed did not have that mutation. So they did not look like 98% um, of, of uh, the people we see living in Polynesia today.